Okay, day two. I have a little bit more of a handle on things. I brought a bunch of my tools, which uh, I won't have to raid a bunch of their tools, and uh, we'll get going. Last night I was having dreams about all of these components being finished and all of the cabinets going together. Super excited, super duper excited. <laughs> Let's go. So these are all vents that are going to go through and vent and also lighten the load and the weight of uh, different segments. This is uh, one of the tops to the L-shaped uh, podcasting studio. This is the wall for my studio. And so right now I'm going to cut all these out with the router. And uh, that's step one. I brought some tools from home so I don't get to raid all of their stuff. Some of this stuff will come in very handy. learning apparently when you use a router it's better to go counterclockwise around the part that you're cutting and I was sort of just going at it haphazard it's, it's gonna make a big difference routing and all those edges are crazy All right, guys, so I have finished cutting everything that's ready. Uh, there's, there's all of these pieces that still need to be cut. Uh, all of the rest of the half inch, I just did one sheet, and then uh, there's a few sheets of a quarter inch that need to be cut as well, like backings for, for the studio cabinet and the kitchen. Uh, I'm going to sort all of these. Now, I'm probably going to do assembly here, which is awesome, but I'm also taking up a lot of real estate in there in their shop here and I don't feel good about that. Uh, so I'm gonna take all of these and then sort them and then put them in the van. Um, it'll also help me understand how the van's gonna run with all of this weight in it because this is a lot, of, a lot of lumber and I can kind of sort it and put it in the van and I will use my van as like the staging area. So when I want to assemble the, the uppers, I can bring all the parts from the uppers from the van, bring them back into the shop and assemble. Um, but for now, um, I'm going to just sort everything out and put it, put it in the van. That's the kitchen so far. This is the couch so far. This is the uppers. This is the studio. And then I have a bunch of stuff under there too. So I want to be the smallest th thumb, thumbprint that I possibly can. All right, there has to be a lot more in here, but 
Uh, this is part of the couch. These are some of the uppers. That's the kitchen sections and that's the studio sections. There's a lot that needs to come in here, but uh, you can kind of see the height of the studio, the height of the kitchen cabinet there. It's a little higher. Actually, that's got to be tipped. And then this is kind of a good marker for seeing how tall the uh, couch cabinet's going to be. So it's perfect. It's going to be right underneath the uh, L track. Cool. Hey guys, how's it going? So they gave me a call yesterday and they said all of the lumber has now been cut for your interior cabinets, including the studio, the kitchen, the, the, the studio uh, podcasting lounge, the upper cabinets on both sides. So we've got a lot of things to cut. I'm sort of excited and uh, I've got my little toolkit here. We're going to go into Detroit Woodworking and uh, cut all of the parts. And then the fun starts because once all the parts are cut, then you prep them and then assemble them. And there's all sorts of fun stuff that happens after that. But this is a big step and I'm glad to kind of uh, start the beginning of the end of one piece of this, this uh, large chapter book. All right, here's all the cabinet faces, I think. These are cabinet faces. Here's, uh, here's the major piece that this will, this will be the show box for all of my electrical components here. Then uh, the cabinet, uh, the, the tops to all of the uh, L-shaped couch. Cool, 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 cool. All right, guys, I went a little nuts. Uh, I didn't record a lot, but I cut up all of the wood. I just wanted to get done because now I can move everything to my shop and uh, my dad's shop and actually sand and do everything there. I think I'm not gonna do much at this shop. They've, they've been already generous enough to cut it for me and I think that's the, the major thing that I needed to get done now, assembly and, and prep work on each of the individual panels. I can, I can go to my dad's shop and work until the wee hours of the morning, so. I'm gonna load this up in the van and uh, Jayo. I hope I don't miss any pieces. There's like there's like 200 individual pieces that were cut. What do you think of all of this? Those are scraps, honey. Those are extra pieces. You cut them out? They're just waste, but maybe we can make something for you. Whoa. Whoa. What do you think of all this stuff? Is it a big, big project? Cool. Yeah. Are those wastes? Yeah, those are longer pieces of uh, scrap. Yeah. And what's that? Is that one piece you need? Those are the side pieces to my dresser. So this is going to be the side piece for the uh, for the studio cabinet, and then the other ones for the kitchen. Oh. Coolio. Cool. You gonna help Dad make it? I'm gonna blow some bubbles out here. Okay. Close the door behind you. Where? Cause the heater's on. Yes. Yep. So this is all my cabinetry. It's all labeled. U stands for uppers, so like the upper cabinets, and then the C stands for the couch, the 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 J-shaped studio uh, bed slash couch. Then these are all. Oh, that's uppers. That's studio cabinets. Actually, these are. The drawers and the drawer faces. Those are the major sides of the cabinets. Kitchen, couch, kitchen. All of it has to be uh, prepped and ready to go. As a matter of fact, there's a whole lot of stuff that needs to happen before I even get close to assembling it. All of these notches have to get cut out because the CNC machine they had doesn't cut straight through the wood, which is what I was hoping, but I'll have to route out all of these, all of these little openings. Then anywhere that there's like a curve like this, I'm gonna have to actually come through and use a chisel to make a 90 degree there. And uh, same, same here, so I'll have to cut, cut these with like a, uh, maybe like a reciprocating saw or something, um, but I'll figure it out. And then all the edges need to be cleaned, all the surface needs to be sanded, 
I'll do that with Eva. Eva can help me with the sanding. I have a feeling that Eva will get very tired of helping me. She's gonna say, oh yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. And then all of a sudden she's gonna be like, dad, when are, when are we done? <laughs> Cause there's gonna be weeks of work in here. <laughs> yeah, and it, it's kind of funny. Last night we were playing Uno and Eva was like, I don't wanna go to sleep. I wanna play Uno. And so Annie sort of challenged her. Similar to the way that the kids say, I, I wanna smoke. And so like as, as crazy parents back in the day, you'd give your kid like 10 packs of cigarettes. You know, and then he'd be like, I will never smoke again, you know. We were like, uh, yeah, if you want to play Uno, uh, just don't even need to go to bed. Just play Uno all night long. So we started and we got like five games, 10 games, 20 games of Uno, then 30 games of Uno. And pretty soon she was like, I'm tired. We're like, well, oh, no, 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 you're not tired. We got, we, let's keep going. Let's keep going. No, I'm tired. I'm tired. Really? You're tired? I thought you wanted to do this all night. Uh and ended up she was the one that that broke the broke the uh, the marathon anyways there's a lot to do here it's kind of exciting to see it all because once I have all of this stuff assembled I can go ahead and actually start wiring it putting putting in outlets putting it into the van seeing about how it fits inside the van I mean like this 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 section right here this is the this is the back of the van and then this is the forward part forward part of the van going towards the front and then so this is the back of the couch which is going to be 30 inches deep which is pretty cool to see it a lot of things here visually I can kind of like start conceptualizing how it's going to look and how it's going to work together pretty cool anyways there are a few parts that I'm just sort of going through my plans and and trying to make sure I've got this this part for this place this part for this place and and put my thumb on everything but yeah pretty cool